Hi, welcome back to the channel. If you're a subscriber, thank you. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Hit that notification bell. That way you know when new videos are posted. Most of my videos have something to do with the outdoors or making your outdoor experiences more pleasurable. Today we're back over with the ambulance. The ambulance was sent to get wrapped and we're gonna take a tour of that. And then we're also gonna to get to finally sit the ambulance owner down. We're gonna ask her some questions. Right, so here's the ambulance that we've been working on for a couple of months. This has been sent to custom tents and look at the northern lights on the side of this rig. How, what a great idea that was. There is no other ambulance like this, I assure you. Check this out. They had a rig for two days. They prepped it the first day, wrapped it the second day. This is custom tents in Missouri. I finally am able to sit them down or stand them up and we're gonna ask them some questions about the ambulance, okay? So first, first off, probably what most people would wanna know is what made you decide to buy an ambulance over like an RV or a van or something like that? Uh, well, we first started looking at C-Class and um, right away, we just between the uh, build quality and price, it just was not for us. And then um, actually, we kind of started looking at the vans and one of that, you know, was considering a, a van build out. But once again, really the cost was was a factor. So um, we were just uh, watching some YouTube videos and ran across someone that uh, built out of uh, uh, ambulance as a camper. So. It just felt right that we just knew. If you were gonna name a couple of the benefits of doing a build out on an ambulance as opposed to a van, or what, what would you think would be some of the most important factors? Yeah, well, cost, very cost efficient. And also um, uh, the, the structure, the quality, the cabinetry, the lighting, the way everything is built is really second to none. I mean, all the, the cabinets and it, the way it's built. Mm -hmm. cost. <laughs> yep. So. And I, I, I yeah. just think between the van, a couple of vans that I've done, and, and then working with this ambulance, you just have, and we'll take a tour of it, you have so much out external storage. Now, let me ask you this. When you started looking, like, how did you know where to start? Um, and then we just started um, finding different channels and different, uh, just different people. In fact, what I did actually, I called the, the local um, the fire department here and just ask them how it all works and how they purchase and sell their ambulance. And so then they had uh, given me some some uh, phone numbers to reach out to people and some different websites where they list their ambulance when they're ready to sell them. So awesome. that's just, yeah, that's how it started. That's so awesome. So I'll include like some of those resources in okay. the description below. That way maybe somebody else might be able to use those same resources because you've done a lot of footwork here. Now, Marisha, we're not going to let you get away without answering a, answering a question. I mean, come on. So, I mean, the ambulance is it's pretty done. It's ready to go. So where's the first place that you hope that you're going to get to take this ambulance to? Well, we would really like to go to Florida, um, where the white sand beaches are, like Destin or Pensacola, and just take a couple days and spend some days on the beach and, you know, visit the ocean and whatever hang out yeah hang cool. out. yeah this is so awesome mother daughter getting to it do is. they do all it's these awesome. trips together what a bunch of memories you guys are gonna have yep. Yep. that so if you wouldn't mind i kind of kind of looked around the inside you want to you want to show us around some of the outside of sure. the ambulance sure yeah i mean Absolutely. it's like this is so neat so this is just a battery really it's just a spare battery storage okay yeah okay so that's that and then um here which is kind of interesting it's neat too it has the the lights um, you know, so night, whatever. And then your DC plug was already here. So we have the, um, the refrigerator. So when we're ready, we just plug it in there. Um, so it's kind of nice. You can access this area from the inside and the outside. Awesome. So yeah, so that's kind of That's nice. a lot. That's a lot of space right there. <laughs> right. 
I'll tell nice. you what, man, you guys nailed that decal. Gosh, that's awesome. It, it is. I just I, we love, love that. It. We love it, love it. More storage. Yeah. And like another thing, like just simple, but like all the little rain gutters and just the, every, just how it's built. You know? But anyway, we just we just got some tools and like that just some city stuff. Yeah. Go Seahawks. Go Chiefs. Hey, Chiefs. <laughs> Lots of storage there as well. Lots of storage. Look then, oh, wow. Yeah, basically, we just have our fishing Look tools at and that. chairs and, of course, sunny sack and <laughs> oh a hammock look yep. at all the space so you've got two the space for two chair that's that's quite a bit of space in there that's a nice tall you can put your fishing poles in there absolutely don't even have to break them down yep. yeah yep so oh, awesome is that and then uh so we just nice. have some of our cleaning yes. supplies hanging here and then what's nice is Maurice and I decided we, we've got our uh, like swimsuits and stuff for the beach or just whatever, kind of outdoor stuff right here. So we don't have to go in to get it. You uh, don't have to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So, yeah. Once again, the lights. That's just awesome because it's at night or whatever. Yep. Yeah. So you so, open up that and the lights already come on? Yeah. They oh, just, yeah. They just come right on. That's why it's over here. Cool. Got a table back there that uh, it will fit inside. It's only, um, I think it's- Oh, a table, foot, yeah. Yeah, table back there. Oh, so. yeah, down there. That's mm -hmm. nice. And the gas, and, yeah. So much space, yeah. that is crazy. It's a, it's, it really is. I, we just, I mean, it, we just love it. And then this one, sorry, it's kind of a little messy, but wow. anyway, this is, um, it has a separate heater. That way we don't have to leave the engine running to heat and cool it. And, we got a great uh, gas grill there. I know that you haven't had it for a winter. Did they say how long that fuel that fuel would last? Um, I think he said about eight hours. Eight about, hours. About eight hours of solid use. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. This is Ellie, by the way. Ellie. Ellie. Yep. That's what we named her. The M one's yep. name is Ellie. Back mm -hmm. in the back up here. This is awesome. Yeah. And in this, with it being already vented, oh wow, uh, yeah. What we did is if you can kind of i know it's hard to see but there's a little window to the inside right there mm -hmm. so that's nice our trash Thank very nice thank you yes very and nice. like i said it's already so much vented. storage out here it's already vented for the propane too so yeah. i mean it's it's for us it just works it really does a good, does a good awesome deal. yeah well Del, it looks so awesome that wrap just really made it i yeah. love it yeah, we do too. We just. All right, now I'm just going to walk you through the ambulance. This thing has all kinds of storage space already. These cabinets are very deep. If you look at the items inside these cabinets, like the plates and the bowls, look how much room are in these cabinets. All kinds of pots and pans fit in there. And if you look, there's already pad eyes on the side for hooking like a bungee or something up. But these doors are in slide tracks. They are so secure. Got a bar sink in there now. Just a nice deep sink there. And look at the great job that Marisa and Deb did on this tile. Very nice guys. Now, all the ambulances have these side seats, and you can keep that in there for extra seating. If you need a spot for a refrigerator, you could also put a, refrig a small, narrow refrigerator in there, like I've got in my van. Air conditioning unit and more storage. Some of that storage opens up to the outside, so you can access it from inside and outside. There's your control panel with all your switches for the lights and the fan. We kept that seat in there. That way you can sit at the sink for brushing your teeth and that. Got a microwave in there. It's hard to see, but you even have like a safe in there. They used to use that for medications. Here's a, a standing view from the back of the ambulance. Just all kinds of space. And here we go, we're going to include some of the behind the scenes work on getting this ambulance done.